guys welcome back now in the previous tutorial we managed to uh, get the username to have a theme color uh, similar to this one pretty much and increase the font size of the com uh, status so let's now listen to find a way to listen to this clicks of each list item and open a new page where we can view the status in details uh, what I like using, some people yet like using uh, putting extra the string itself and taking it to the next, which is pretty fast. But for me, I like using uh, server-based uh, operation. So I'll just try, I'll just simply, when I click an item, uh, for example, let me just show you uh, real quick. Uh, so I'm going to say on list item click. And in here. I'm going to say now. Once the item is clicked, let let's get uh, let's get its ID. And I'm going to say that by saying parse object. I'm going to say status object equals to um, m status dot get and the position of the clicked item. So now we get the, that clicked item, and we're going to say string object. ID equals to status object dot get object ID. So once you get the object ID, now let's display this first of all to the user so that we can see what exactly has been clicked, what ID has been clicked. So we're going to say toast.mech text and get application context. And we're going to say object ID. And we're going to say here um, toast. Toast that length long that show. Now, if we run this, uh, let's just wait here and it's updating. And when I click it, you see the object ID of the item that is clicked displays. And I click this one, it's a different ID. And if we had to parse and just check the status. So hooray has XM starts with an XM. It's none other that starts with an XM. So definitely updated status uh, seven, and there we are. So it's pretty simple like that. Now what we want to do uh, after getting the object ID of the clicked item, we want to now take that object ID into a new activity which I just created called status detail view. Where we'll be using this uh, activity to view the detail of the status by fetching it from parse by using the object ID. So let me just go ahead and do this right here. And look at it. let's get rid of this now since you have confirmed. We're going to say, uh, current intent, intent, go to detail view, equals to new intent. And then I'm going to say, start with from the home page activity that this to status detail view dot class and then once that has happened we want to uh, so put an extra use something called put extras in intent so we're going to say uh, go to detail view dot put extra and the string that we want to put extra here is uh, we're going to give it a key of object ID. And what we are passing is the object ID. Now we say, once we do that, we say start activity. And the activity that we're starting is go to detail view. And once that is started, we'll be taken to the detail view. So here in the detail view, you see I have very simple code which I'll just walk you through it, where, um, let me just get rid of it first of all. So I'll, yeah, it's okay if it stays. This is just for receiving intent of what started this activity uh, so that when I click this, it starts the activity, right? So what started that activity is what we are passing and that is the object ID. So whatever started the status activity, we grab its object ID using the object ID key. So this is supposed to be matching. Uh, this key right here. So this is very important. That key should match so that you fetch that. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything unless you have a, another technique. Uh, all right, so let's uh, uh, 
try this. Let me run it first. Of course, I haven't uh, written anything in the status activity apart from just uh, receiving the intent here, which is simple code, and I will walk you through it in a short while. Let me just head back to Jenny Motion and click Connectivity, and I'll be taken to Status Detail View. So here in Status Detail View, what I want to do is I have a text here and display. Uh, first of all, I want to confirm if it's getting me the right object ID so that I can fetch its other stuff from parse here at Status Detail View. So to do that, I'm going to create a text view here. I just a dummy text view to use it as uh, something. So what I'll go, I'll do is go to Layout and Activity Status Detail. And in here, we have a text view. And I'm going to call text this as te uh, Object ID that started the activity. Just a long text as we know. And I'll give it an ID of uh, um, object ID that started. Just something long, you know. Uh, this is a test. I'm going to remove it anyway, but for now, I'm just going to keep it. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead to code now and let's create a Protected. Let's listen. To, let's uh, connect the Java file with the XML file. In other words, you know what we've been doing all along. Get this text view uh, reflected here. So protected text view. Uh, I'm gonna call this object ID. All right, and then object ID text view and then I'm going to find it here and I'm going to say object ID text view equals to text view find view by ID r dot ID dot uh, um, it was a long um, Object ID that started activity, and then we're going to say now here down below it, object ID dot set text, set text, and this text we're going to set is the object ID string. So let's see that if we open the activity and get that um, object ID. So let's just refresh here, run it again. Did run. Then when I click something like hooray, it takes us and gives us the object ID right here. I'll go back. Uh, I'll go to this and seven, which is the right ID. The name is great. It's the same ID. So with that in mind, we now have the object IDs and we can use it to now fetch the whatever we're looking for again without uh, passing intents or back and forth, back and forth. So we just pass the ID, just one intent, and we're using the server code just to fetch data from parse. That's pretty how I like to do it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And so we are going to actually, you know, I'll I'll head back to activity status detail view, and this is the object that started the activity. What I will do with this one, I will write this as I will rename this as the status user or the status in detail, you know, something like that. And then with that, you can figure out how to do the rest, how to fetch the rest of the objects and display it using what we just learned earlier. It's just really simple as that using parse query. So now uh, let's go ahead and display this status from parse. And to do that, I will go to code again. And this one is not an object ID, but now I'll change this to status or M status. Because there's no M status here. And I'll change its ID as well so that we have consistency. And we're going to say status detail view. 
and then copy that and then and then connect it m status is this the text view so initialize variables there and then we get the intent that started the activity get the intent that started the activity and to the activity and yeah that's pretty much for now and then object ID set text oh, so this m start just that set text with the object ID so we don't want to use the object ID to set it as text which is pointless we want to use that object ID to parse uh, to query data from parse and uh, displayed into uh, it's that status on this line right here that the status has been clicked so your dim is great should display here so let's do that in the next video I was just showing you how to set it up and since it's working fine uh, let's catch up in the next video